Audi's big news at the 2015 Frankfurt Motor Show is this, the Audi e-tron concept. It's pretty extraordinary. You've got 370 kilowatts of power on the boost, 320 normally, 800 newton meters, so that's 590 pounds foot of torque. But the biggest thing is they're saying that it'll have a range of 500 kilometers. And a large amount of that is down to aerodynamics. So with me here is the chief aerodynamicist of the project, Dr. Moni Islam, and we're gonna have a look at some of the very clever features on this car. So thank you very much for talking to us. Should we start around the front of the car? A few of the, a few sure. of the things around here. Um, as you can see here on the bonnet, we've got uh, the active uh, cooling air shutters. Um, these open and close uh, depending on the uh, heat load of the cooling elements and the climatization system. And uh, so uh, if we close them, we reduce the, uh, the cooling drag, the so-called cooling drag, the component of drag that's part of uh, coming from the cooling. Um, the next thing as we go farther back, uh, we've got the virtual wing mirrors here. Yeah, th these are very cool. So these, these are cameras that then pop out. Yes. Um, presumably when, when you, just when you need them, I suppose. Yes. So, um, yeah, we have no more mirrors. You know, uh, for aerodynamics, uh, mirrors are really a terrible part of the vehicle. And uh, so we were able to get rid of those. And we now have uh, these virtual wing mirrors. Uh, a typical pair of wing mirrors for uh, an SUV vehicle accounts for about 10 counts in drag. So if this vehicle, now it has 0.25, if it had a proper wing mirror, a uh, conventional wing mirror, it would have 0.26. So these 10 counts in drag, they would reduce the driving range by six kilometers in the NEDC driving cycle. Just from the mirrors. That's right. Excellent. And then we've got a passive thing down here, which yes. is effectively sort of, I suppose, race cars venting the, the front arch. Yeah. Yeah, the, the whole wheel area of uh, the vehicle is uh, generally a difficult area for the aerodynamicist. So one of the things that we've uh, taken over from our colleagues in the racing department is this uh, uh, wheel, uh, wheel housing vent, and that helps to reduce the drag in a passive manner. And yeah. then moving down the side of the car is more, again, when we move to the rear wheel arch as well. Right. So as you can see, we've got a very nice smooth side, thanks to the fact that we have no mirrors anymore. Door handles are flush. And um, we've got uh, a nice recessed rocker, which gives the, uh, the vehicle a, a feeling of lightness and the off-road character. The rocker is the sill, basically, right, the sill. under here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but for the aerodynamicist, this isn't great because it, it exposes the rear wheel. So what we have is uh, we have an active, uh, active panel here at the rocker, which uh, extends outward and covers the rear, rear wheel, thereby reducing the drag. The, uh, the rear part of any vehicle is really the most important part for the aerodynamicist, so we did a lot of work on this. First of all, in the basic shape. So um, we actually want to make the rear of the vehicle as small as possible. We have an extendable roof spoiler um, and an extendable rear diffuser. One thing that you can't see right now, unfortunately, is the, uh, the very flat and smooth underbody. Um, we've got a perfectly uh, closed perfectly flat, perfectly smooth underbody. We've got a surface coating of the underbody which is derived from the skin of a shark. So it has a very small, um, uh, small texture, fins. Yeah. small fins in it, uh, which reduce the, the friction drag, thereby reducing the total drag altogether. So it's really uh, a pretty complete concept and uh, brings us down to this very low drag value for an SUV. Fantastic. Dr. Mani, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Audi is being pretty punchy in terms of its production prospects for this car, saying that it well, could be on the road by 2018, which is quite exciting, really. 0.60, 4.6 seconds. It's, um, yeah, the Tesla's off-road rival is right here. Let us know what you think on Facebook, Twitter, and in the comments box below.